I love this so much. AOC is coming out with yet another stunning and brave documentary, this time taking on the deeply troubling issue of climate change. And this film was such a, a, a sought after film by audiences. People were just clamoring so much to go see this movie in theaters that it got completely rejected by theaters by Hollywood because of how much of a failure it was. This is absolutely hilarious in every way. So Ale Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez climate change doc opens to humiliating $81 per screen. <laughs> oh, that might be one of the biggest L's in the box office I have ever seen. This is hilarious. This is so funny. Did you know Re uh, Representative uh, AOC has a new movie out? Don't feel bad. Neither did anyone else. Her climate change, which is a hoax documentary, grossed just $81 per screen. This is following after AOC came out with her first documentary, which was called Knock Down the House. Oh, these titles are so stunning. The 2019 documentary Knock Down the House got plenty of love from both Netflix and movie critics. The latter hailed the film with a 99% fresh rating. That is just like pathetic, and and you know that this next one that she's doing, this uh, this uh, what's it called? This is the end or whatever it is. Film uh, to the end is not going to go very well because not even the critics are giving this the score that they did with Knock Down the House. So this movie is going to be a total failure. <laughs> Netflix viewers had their say though, giving the movie a dismal eleven percent rotten score at Rotten Tomatoes. Holy cow, that is horrendous. Director Rachel Lear's follow-up project to the end, the stunning and brave documentary that only made $81 per theater, also landed a screening slot at Sundance. The film reunites Lear's with Representative AOC to track the New Yorker's fight to stop climate change. Filmed over four years of hope and crisis, to the end captures the emergence of a new generation of leaders and the movement behind the most sweeping climate change legislation in U.S. history. Award-winning director Rachel Lears follows four exceptional young women as they grapple with new challenges of leadership and power and work together to defend their generation's right to a future. The film debuted over the weekend on 120 screens, a number typical of movies hoping to grab enough of an audience <laughs> earlier on to merit a wider release pattern. Critics loved it too. Wow, who who's shocked by that? Literally no one. Although not as un enthusiastically as Knock Down the House. This is the end, my friend. Roadside Attractions documentary on climate change to the end starring AOC was voted... Out of the box office, just $9,667 in 120 theaters, $81 per. Yes, $81. I, I could have told you this was going to happen. Audiences aren't looking for this type of stuff, okay? They're just not. When they go to the theater to spend, you know, 20 bucks on a movie ticket or whatever it is in these, these days, they want to go see movies like Top Gun Maverick. All right, that, those are the types of movies that people want to go see in theaters. They're not going to go see AOC's This Is It documentary. Just a big old film about fear and, or to the end. Sorry, it's called To the End. This title is such a pathetic title, I can't even remember it. This is a total failure for AOC. This is a total failure once again for Hollywood as they continue to try to force feed their agendas down our throats time and time again. Now, look, I'm not a climate change denier, as, you know, they like to call people who are, you know, questioning a lot of the things. I just, that's exactly it. I, I question a lot of the stuff that is going on, but I do think that there is definitely some form of stuff that's going on out there. But all of that aside, this is ridiculous. People aren't going to see this type of crap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.